Hello everyone and welcome to the 20th video in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies. And in this video we are going to take a look at improving on the controls of the player. So um, we are going to take a look at how to implement more advanced control functionality, stuff like fall damage, and I'll sh show the different things you can do with this in just, in a, mo uh, in just a moment. And um, also just the general feel of the controls. So uh, let me just quickly show you what we are going to be making. So um, in this video we are not going to be uh, doing the actual scripting. Um, I have uh, used a script that I found online from the Wikipedia Unity site uh, called FPS Walker Enhanced. And then I have uh, improved on that a bit to take care of stuff like crouching and uh, just customizing it to fit our game a little better. So uh, this is uh, what we are going to use. And uh, what this will allow us to do is it will um, allow us to do stuff like fall damage. So uh, if our player falls from a certain height, we can then uh, subtract health. Or if he is standing on a plane at a uh, harsh angle, he can then slide off the plane uh, so that we cannot run up mountains and stuff like that. And uh, you can also um, tag certain objects as uh, sliders so that whenever he's on those objects, the player will again slide. Uh, so that's really good for making uh, runner type games. And then, of course, we can handle the sprint and crouching internally in the script. Uh, so that's really awesome. Um, I have, though, make, uh, made some of it separate, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So uh, that's what we're going to be making. Now, uh, I would really recommend that you go ahead and download the assets because we're going to be using scripts from them. So uh, go to brackies.com and download and extract them and... You should be left with a folder called survival assets and then the um, the newest version number. And if you don't know how to do this, you can always go ahead and look up the uh, survival game bonus video in which we talk about how to do just that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So double click the survival assets folder and go on the scripts. Here we should see the... Uh, FPS Walker Enhanced, which I've edited a little bit. And you should also see the Crouch Height, which is going to allow our character to scale up and down. I wanted to do that separately just to keep it a little bit more organized and also so that the FPS Walker Enhanced didn't get too complicated. All right, so let's go ahead and select these two scripts and then just drag them into Unity. So here we have them. And now we can go ahead and implement them. You can see I've made a small uh, change to the scene and this is just to demonstrate how the player can slide off a surface. I just took the wall 3 here, du duplicated it, moved it over, rotated it and renamed it to Test Played. Now let's take a look at our player here. So at the moment, we have a lot of different scripts going on. We have the mouse look, the character motor, the FPS input controller, the sprint and crouch, player stats, and the respawn menu. Um, I've gone ahead and edit edited the respawn menu a little bit. So let's first of all go into that and just take a look at the changes I've made. So double click it to open it up in Mono Develop. And inside of here, I have sim simply gone ahead and commented out, which means that um, when you make these two signs in front of a line, it's a comment, so it won't be active. So I've commented out the, uh, the sprint script code because we are not going to be using the sprint script variable, uh, or I'm sorry, we're not going to be using the sprint script uh, on off functionality since we are not going to be using the sprint script at all. So um, this is just, this doesn't have to be there. So I just went ahead and commented out. So you can still have it if you're using the old method. 
Also, I have documented everything up here so you can read about it if you are in doubt at any point. I've also gone ahead and changed the char motor to uh, char controller and made it store a character controller instead. This is because then it will work with both this solution we are going to be making and the one we had before. So that's all for the respawn menu script. We can go ahead and close that down and go back into Unity. So we can just collapse that. And uh, the player stats, we're going to keep that. The sprint and crouch, we're just going to go ahead and disable that for now, along with the FPS input controller and the character motor. So now that we have that in place, let's just go ahead and drag the player stats onto the scripts folder because we are not going to be using that in this tutorial. Now we can go ahead and drag on the FPS walker enhance and the crouch height onto our player. So now we can see that these two scripts have been applied. The crouch height has no, no variables that needs to be set. It will just make sure that whenever we press the C key to crouch, the, um, player will, uh, the player's collider will scale down. If you want to know more about how this script works, you can go ahead and uh, watch the sprint and crouch uh, tutorials um, in two parts. So let me just go ahead and open this up so you can have a look at what I've done here. The script is exactly the same as, as the um, sprint and crouch script, though I uh, have excluded the parts where we edit the speed. So uh, I've just gone ahead and removed everything that was in the crouch script um, but the uh, scaling functionality. So that should be it. So we can just go ahead and collapse that. And now let's take a look at the actual FPS Walker Enhanced, the one we are really excited about. So this script is really awesome for making everything a lot smoother and uh, more snappy. So uh, first of all, we can set the walk speed. I'm just going to set that to 7. Then we can change the run speed, I'm going to leave that at 11, and the crouch speed is fine at 3. The limit diagonal, uh, diagonal speed is not really something I want to worry about at the moment. Then you can choose whether or not you want to enable the run and the crouch functions by just pressing these buttons. Then we have the jump speed, which is fine at 8. Gravity is default at 20 and we are just going to leave it there. Then we have the falling damage threshold which means how high our player needs to fall before he takes damage. More accurately it would be to say how much velocity he needs to hit the ground with. So if he got, gets shot at the ground uh, then uh, from, from just a centimeter dis distance we should still lose damage. So that's very realistic in that way. This is because, because the script utilizes the Unity uh, physics engine. The slide when over slope limit allows for the sliding when on a, uh, a rotated object. So if I go ahead and hit play as is, we can see that I can stand here and I can walk up and down this object. If I just go ahead and drag the game view over so we can see both the game and the scene view at the same time, I can um, make uh, you can see what happens when I press this and hit play. The player slides down and he cannot climb the object. Awesome. The slide on tagged objects will allow the player to slide slide when you tag the game objects as so. You can go in here in the FPS Walker Enhanced to read more. Everything is commented and uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory though I uh, figured it was a little too hard to, um, and complicated to show you how to actually script this functionality. So we're just going to be using it which you're going to be uh, doing in most games you're going to be creating in the future. The slide speed 
that uh, explains itself. It's how fast you're going to slide down if you're sliding. The air control is not something we are going to be... Uh, well, actually, uh, you might want to check that uh, if you're doing something like a platformer. And this allows you to move back and forth while you're in the air. So uh, older games um, had this a lot. Uh, but in newer games, it's a little more rare. The anti-bump anti -bump factor, um, you are going to use that for uh, making it so that when we try to climb objects, um, it's not going to jitter too much. But uh, I would just leave that if I were you. And the same with the anti-bunny hop factor. Okay, cool. So um, we know that the slider is working correctly. Let's go ahead and see how uh, things are going if we just drag the player up and make him fall. Ouch. Down here in the console view, click that to open it in the console, we can see a message appears at debug.log saying, ouch, we fell 20.3 units. This can be used for applying damage to our player, which we are going to be taking a look at in a soon video. You would then go ahead and just send a message to our player stat script to actually subtract damage based on this information. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This was pretty much it. Uh, it's not the longest, but I wanted to really sit down and explain this to you. Uh, because it can really improve the feel of your game. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.